Look who it is. Who made the wall? Listen, listen to me, hear me. You can't stop chasing your dream just because somebody in your life won't chase it with you. You can't stop believing in yourself just because somebody in your life won't believe in you. You can't stop chasing the dreams of your life just because when you know when you do it, you're gonna have to do it all by yourself. So for breakfasts, I've been having what I just showed, the flax, the chia seed, the oatmeal, and then I've been adding this vegan protein powder, one and a half scoops. And then I top it off with uh, 20, either 15 grams or 20 grams of natural peanut butter. And then I will put some salt on top because honestly, salt makes it so much better. And this is really high fiber. And this meal usually fills, fills me up for a good four to five hours. And then I find I'm not like starving after the gym and the fiber really helps to go poop. Okay, I wanted to show you guys my suits for this year. Um, I previously ordered this pink one. Um, I ordered it, uh, no, I ordered it this year actually. I got it this summer and I loved the color, but the cups, I find like there's not enough space in between these two molded cups that it kind of like squishes my implants in too much so I don't know like it might look different when I'm leaner but I like love this color so much and I really want to wear it but I did order a new one just because of that fact that I don't like the way it looks right now on me and I ordered this one because I do love the look of these kind of cups like this is like a softer cup it still has a bit of padding in it but it's not like this is a hard shell padding which is really good for if you don't have a lot of boobs too it makes you honestly look like your boobs are fuller but because my implants have an internal bra in them I honestly don't really need like the lift and support so this one looks really good on me I find and I don't really need yeah like the extra padding so I love 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 this color I was definitely thinking of that Issa blue when I ordered it and honestly I am so torn because I love them both like the pink is very unique and will be different on stage but like blue is very like you just know it's going to be good and it's a well-liked color by judges and it looks good on everyone and with blonde hair so yeah those are my two suits for this year I got these from um, Amnesia Shop it says right here and they are available on Etsy and honestly you guys are a really fair price um this one I believe I paid maybe like 300 Canadian when all said and done, it came here and it got here in a month, this one. Um, and then this one was 250 Canadian and I got here in like less than two weeks, which is crazy. I was honestly so impressed. I would definitely order from her. So yeah, she's from Ukraine and I love supporting her because she's a local business there. And like, obviously right now with what's going on with the war, I, you know, it's, I just think it's amazing to support companies like that in need where compared to like big companies, but great quality cool thing about her suits is they have these like little hooks on them so they're so much easier to get on and off plus they have this like protective barrier that just protects the beads so I'll probably take that off just before show day but for now it's nice because they don't scratch you and yeah if you get a chance go look her up she's on Instagram and on Etsy okay so this is what I mean by like the way the top looks um Honestly, this one, like, this is how your implants, I feel like, should look. Um, there's still a little bit of space. They're not like, I don't like when the girls are like that because I feel like that just is too much. But right now, I just feel like it gives a nice rounded look here where my other suit like really pulled in at the top. So yeah, I just find like this really balances out my top half where the pink one it it just comes in too narrow and see this is like a decent size where it gives me good coverage the other one is too short for my implants so yeah i just find like you have to really be careful with certain tops and whatnot because you really want them to fit you because if they're too small they'll look kind of like sleazy if like if it's like too small of a triangle cup for your implants it'll look yeah it just won't look good also um you don't want to have too big of a cup. So I just feel like this is the right size. And because I am like a thicker, broader build too, I just find that like, I really wanted to make sure that these were like, 
you know, covered kind of thing. So yeah, I'm like super happy with this one. Um, I want to, yeah, honestly, I like, I love the look of this. I, I guess I'll show you what the other one looks like to compare. Okay. So this is what I mean by my other one. So see how like, it just is a lot of a, sh it's more of a shorter cup and it comes in super close and it just makes my implants look like two squished cantaloupes together, which I just don't think it looks as balanced on my physique as the other one. Honestly, I might be able to get like a different connector to like separate this one and move them apart more, but I still feel like this width is just not wide enough for my physique. So yeah, that's the difference between the two. Comment below, let me know what you think. So the weather was like not bad here. It was like minus 19. Now it's like minus 24 and that's without the windshield. So yeah, that is Northern Life. Also, it is so dark. So it's almost, so it's 7-11 right now, 7-12. And it is still quite dark. That should bring it, babe. Hey, yo, sis, I don't Watch think they're ready for this shit. It's tough, <laughs> oh, man. It <laughs> should bring it, babe. Hey, yo, let me take their ass back to the club real quick. Oh, man, it should bring it, babe. Watch it, burn it, leave it. Stop, oh, man, it should bring it. It's been four weeks, but you guys, I am already down eight pounds. So I, yeah, so clearly something's working. Um, like I said, my calories are still at 1800. Um, I'm hitting around like a lot of protein though. Like, oh yeah, I have a coach now too. So I will be working with um, Chris Burr. He is an IFBB pro. Um, and I, he was recommended by Jax, so he's her coach too, and she just said he, he knows hormones and levels, so that is really well. And he, right away he was just like, what are these levels, this level, like told me to get some blood work done, so I really appreciate that. And then he just understood where I was coming from, and I think so far I vibe really well with him. I, like, he listens and he gives me good feedback too on like my workouts and whatnot too, so yeah, I've had a really good, I guess it's, it's been like kind of like two weeks we've been in contact it's been really good so far <clears throat> we did up my cardio from 20 minutes to 25 i'm also doing cardio on the arc now as you saw in this vlog and i'm trying to hit about 130 to 145 beats per minute for 26 minutes and i roughly burned anywhere between 250 to 280 calories so yeah, that's kind of like my goal range. But yeah, it's been working. I've been dropping. So yeah, eight pounds in four weeks. I'm like not, not upset about that. Like to me, that is totally fine. And I do feel like because I've dropped weight that my thyroid medication dose is, it honest, I like it feels like it's maybe gonna be too, a bit too high. Cause like, it's kind of hard to explain, but like when I first started taking my thyroid medication, I still had my thyroids, like my thyroid um, hormones in my body. Cause before they removed it, they like squeezed out everything. It sounds fucking weird, but like squeeze out the hormones and your hormones can be in your body for up to six weeks post thyroidectomy. So when they dosed me like right away after my thyroidectomy, like I felt like I had too much thyroid hormone in my body and I was getting like not anxiety, but like, yeah, it was like my heart rate felt a bit more elevated sometimes and it would be roughly like the morning time. 
So yeah, I feel like that those symptoms are kind of coming up again, but it might not be, it might not be. I'm gonna get my blood work done again this week, hopefully, but I have to do it fasted. So right now that's kind of tough because I can't seem to book an appointment until like another two weeks for fasted. So I'm gonna have to like walk in and it doesn't open till seven. That means I can't eat till seven. <laughs> so, so many things. So I'm like one of those things that I just have to like make time for it. But yeah, so far really good. Uh, like I said, weights dropped cardio or cardio kind of upped calories still decently high and we'll see what my check-ins like tomorrow today is sunday almost the end of the month what's the date it's the 29th so yeah um sorry my animal so yeah we'll see what it's looking like oh i also wanted to say um i'm going to thailand in like 20 days uh that's another thing that i kind of like threw a little bit of a curveball in this prep where like Chris, I had to be like, yeah, um, I don't know if you want to take me on now or like wait till I'm back because I'm like it's kind of a shit show. But like my amazing boyfriend <laughs> was, had this impulse of this. Well, we've talked about like traveling and whatnot. Like we've been to Thailand. We were supposed to be there last year for a month. Our dog tore his ACL, so we had to cancel that trip. And then this year we were like, how many hawing should we go? Should we not go? And then maybe like around Christmas, we're like, no, we're just going to like save money this year and not go. And then I uh, like... Two weeks ago he's like i really i really want to go to thailand i need a i need a vacation i need a break and he literally had the flights and everything booked the day that day so yeah we're going to thailand for two weeks so i have to prep in thailand and like make sure i'm on my cardio on my food and everything and i'm like not that i'm nervous about it i'm just like i need to make sure i am not like overdoing it and the good thing is in th like I, I only drink wine really that I like and in Thailand it's really expensive to drink wine so I won't be like tempted to drink um I might be tempted to have pad thai because the pad thai is so fucking good but I think I'm just gonna go for more like rice and fish or like rice and chicken and there's a lot of like street carts and like food markets and food courts so you could get a lot of like fresh like stir fried stuff so I maybe just will order more stuff without oils and stick to like lean proteins um maybe i'll yeah that's kind of like my plan and i'm probably gonna do like eggs for breakfast or i'll bring oatmeal and do oatmeal and protein powder but we are staying in well we're gonna be flying into bangkok we're gonna be in bangkok for a couple of days and then we're heading out to um Copenhagen. that's like our favorite island so if you don't know where that is that's where the full moon party is it's a pretty like established island it has gyms on it it has like their version of a costco and it has like a supermarket and where our bungalow is it's like right on the beach closer to like thong sala which is like downtown and there's like all the amenities so we're like walking distance well we're gonna have like we're gonna rent our bikes so we're not really gonna need to like walk but you know it's we're close to everything we're close to a gym you can get a week pass there for the gym and it's like 20 bucks canadian so it's not that bad so yeah that's my plan oh also where we're staying has like a sick gym too so i think we're just gonna be like gym tan beach sleep repeat it's <laughs> what it's gonna be so it's gonna be exciting i'll probably vlog that too like honestly i'm so excited to go but i'm also like uh, am i gonna be able to stay on like my diet and my food i think the hardest part will be more like that in between like i'm gonna bring food traveling like we're flying out of, so we're driving out of calgary we're flying out of calgary to vancouver vancouver to taipei and it's an overnight flight so i probably like won't eat anything there but like once we get to bangkok it'll be like early morning um so yeah i think like it should be okay like i'm not super worried about um like eating bad i don't have a desire to eat treats right now also in thailand they don't really have like the kind of treats i like like i love chocolatey rich fudge kind of and they have like mango and sticky rice and like coconut milk and more like weird desserts so it's not which thank god because it's not like my style but i probably will eat a lot of fresh fruit because the fresh fruit is so freaking good there so i think i'm gonna keep most of my carb sources just like fruit and rice and that'll be kind of like how anyways it'll be interesting you guys will see how i do it because it's gonna be one of those things that's like shit oh i also have a photo shoot booked too when i'm there so that'll be like mid-trip uh like i said we're flying out to Copenhagen. so when we or what we're going to Surat Tani, but when we get to Copenhagen, we'll be there for like three days and then I'm gonna have this photo shoot. I just found this guy online. It's like, again, super cheap for a photo shoot. It's like 50 bucks Canadian. So I'm like, why not? Might as well, like I'm not gonna be in this kind of shape in a foreign country, like on a beach, you know, every time I go. So like, might as well do it. But yeah, um, 
follow along i'll hopefully be able to vlog all that like i don't want to be like super annoying and vlog like my whole trip but i'll probably vlog like bits and pieces and we're gonna be there for two weeks like i said so it'll be like long enough that i could probably get some footage and not be like that annoying person that brings their phone like around all the time but just enough to kind of film like what it's like prepping there and yeah so i'll show you guys a physique update and yeah keep watching and stay tuned for this journey thanks for watching